A federal judge has ruled conspiracy theorist Alex Jones must sell off nearly all of his personal assets to start repaying the families of victims of the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is here now with reaction from the Sandy Hook families tonight. Dick? Well, Christine, courts in both Texas and Connecticut had found Jones liable for up to a billion and a half dollars for defamation. But Jones is worth an estimated four to six million dollars. Today, he was defiant outside court. Will not be silenced. Alex Jones mouthing off. But what about paying up? Well, now a judge has ordered his assets liquidated with proceeds to start going to Sandy Hook families. The whole thing is a giant hoax. Jones spread despicable lies about the 2012 Sandy Hook massacre that killed 20 children and six educators. He said it was all fake and then spent years insisting that grieving family members were just crisis actors. The families then had to endure abuse poured on them from people who believed Jones' insane conspiracy theories before he was finally held liable for defamation in order to pay nearly one and a half billion dollars. I lost my own power. I lost my voice for a long time. Robbie Parker's six-year-old daughter Emily was killed in the massacre. It took me joining this lawsuit to finally start to be able to find and reclaim some of those things again. You can forgive someone, but that doesn't mean that you forget. Scarlett Lewis lost her six-year-old son, Jesse. They need to be held accountable so that they don't do it to someone else. Jones finally admitted in court that the shooting did happen. It's 100% real. Right now, Jones can keep his InfoWars business, but can't control the money. And this liquidation could just be the beginning of his financial burdens. In a case involving defamation, that debt, if you will, is not extinguished. They can continue to go to seek more. The ruling comes the same week the survivors of the Sandy Hook massacre graduated from high school. The former classmates of the victims wore green and white pins to honor their memory, a memory Parker hopes never fades. Some of the communications between the families have been just very beautiful, and so it is touching and it is emotional. An attorney for Jones said $2 million is already sitting in escrow for the families after Jones sold to Texas Ranch, but Jones is appealing the judgments against him and that could take years. Christine. Dick, thank you.